No, Dale Jr. is not coming out of retirement, but Matt Benedetto is finally gainfully employed again. NASCAR fans took the social on Tuesday night like they were Kate Middleton truthers. They put on the aluminum foil hats, they got out their Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass, and they were inspecting everything, trying to connect the dots to see what this Hendrick Motorsports teaser was all about that got posted on Tuesday afternoon. It showed a driver walking up to the camera, bending down, wearing Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s signature skeleton gloves, as well as his National Guard fire suit. And a lot of fans, because fans love to wildly speculate, were like, this means Dale Jr.'s coming back to race for Hendrick Motorsports. And where is he going to come back at? Well, probably the All-Star race at North Wilkesboro. Why? Because Kyle Larson's going to be in Indianapolis for the Indy 500 qualifying day on Sunday if he makes the Fast 12 or, God forbid, has to go to the last row shootout. So that means that Hendrick Motorsports could need a substitute driver for that number five car. Why not put Dale Jr. in, right? He resurrected North Wilkesboro Speedway. He rolled the boulder out of the way and let it live once again. That'd be a really big boulder. Regardless. No, that's not what is happening here. Dale Jr. is not coming out of retirement to race a cup car for the first time in seven years, a cup car that he's only ever driven in a few laps around Bowman Gray Stadium, as well as the Daytona 500 open test in 2022, which you definitely forgot about the same way that you forgot that Joey Logano made his first NASCAR Cup Series start in the number 96 car for Hall of Fame racing and also raced the number 02 Home Depot car the same year. Yeah, everybody seems to forget stuff like that all the time, which is totally fair. Why would you remember that unless you have a bit of a rain man brain? Uh, so regardless, Dale Jr. is not coming out. Instead, that teaser was to tease the throwback scheme that his son, Chase Elliott, will be racing at Darlington on May 12th. That throwback scheme will be Dale Jr.'s 2014 National Guard paint scheme, the same one that he took to victory lane in the Daytona 500. And it's pretty cool. It's a great looking scheme. And as some astute fans have pointed out, those aren't universe's colors, so they had to work hard for it. And they're probably doing this to sell Chase Elliott merch, along with Dale Earnhardt Jr. merch. Yeah, that's generally why most of this is done here, but I'm glad that everybody's connecting the dots on that one. Overall, great looking scheme. Chase Elliott had some fun with it and was like, here's my tardy slip from my senior year of high school where I stayed up too late to watch uh, you know, the Daytona 500 and even has a hashtag go junior at the bottom of it right here. And it's honestly really cool that he's going to run back-to-back -back years throwbacks to both of his dad's cars, right? He ran Bill Elliott's throwback last year in the number nine uh, Everham Dodge car. This year, he's running Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number 88 National Guard scheme. So overall, really cool that they're doing this, just not what fans expected. Dale Jr. will be back in a car at some point this year, more than likely in the Xfinity series, and he'll also be back in the car for the Cars Tour uh, series as well. I would imagine he's probably going to be there for the North Wilkesboro uh, late model stock race and, and other things throughout the season, but he's not getting back into a cup car. Kyle Larson and Hendrick Motorsports have said that his priority is the all-star race that weekend. I doubt that they would pull him out of the car. Uh, Hendrick Motorsports and Aaron McLaren at Indianapolis if he has a shot for pole in the Fast 12. Crazier things have happened. We saw Eric Amarola get pulled out of the car so Denny Hamlin could win the race that Eric was dominating in Milwaukee. So while things have happened before, I just feel like they want to make a big splash with this program at Indianapolis, and they're not going to pull him out of that to go race an exhibition race in North Wilkesboro. Although, it is a race that he absolutely dominated last year, and like Scott Bloomquist said, if you didn't put me at the back, I would have lapped the whole field, and Kyle probably could have done that because uh, he was dominant last year. So, Dale Jr. is not coming back. Chase Elliott's just running a Dale Jr. throwback, which honestly looks really good. On the other side, we do have a driver that's coming back. Matt Benedetto. He won't have to go pick up that Amazon driver's vest before orientation because he's finally gainfully employed once again. He'll be driving in at least five races for Viking Motorsports. And you're probably thinking, who the heck is Viking Motorsports? It's like Obiaka. I've never heard of these people before. You have heard of them. They have been on track twice this year. They currently drive or field the number 38 car, and you're like, that looks a lot like a seed car, and that's because it is. RSS does field the car. Viking Motorsports is the entrant of the car, the owner, and, you know, a roundabout way, and they've missed two of the first four races this year. CJ McLaughlin has been trying to qualify the car, and the team decided to finally make a change. They said, you know, you're 50%, 50-50 right now. You're looking a lot like Red Bull Racing when we tried to get into NASCAR. Let's go ahead and make a change and see if we can put a veteran driver in this car and see what they can do. And Matt Benedetto is definitely a veteran driver. Matt Benedetto is not a great driver. He's a mid driver, but that's totally fine in a situation like this because the team needs a baseline. They need to qualify for races. They need to get the purse money and they need to kind of get a good grasp on where they're at. And Matt can certainly do that. 
So for now, NASCAR's first openly Christian pro-American driver does have a job for at least five races. And that's a good thing. And the team does, you know, has said that they plan on doing majority of the schedule, just not the road courses and maybe the Darlington races as well. Um, but for the most part, they plan on being at, like I said, majority of the races for the rest of the year. Will Matt be in the car for all those races? Remains to be seen. He at least for now has a five race setup. And they're not going to go out there and win races unless they, you know, luck into one at Talladega or something like that. But again, it's just finding a baseline for this team, getting them into the show, and then just kind of seeing where they measure up against the competition. Vikings said that they hope to race a full schedule next year in 2025. And you know, who knows? Maybe Matt D will be a part of those plans. But for now, in the Xfinity series, he he has an average start of 26.8 and an average finish of 33.4. Don't love to see him going back like that, but that's across 69 starts. Nice. In the NASCAR Xfinity Series, he doesn't know why that's nice. We're not going to explain it to him. His wife would not be happy about that, which is totally fine. But he is an upgrade over CJ. I don't think there's any doubt in anyone's mind about that. He just has more experience across all three of NASCAR's divisions. And again, like I said, not great. Not going to go out there and set the world on fire, but he's going to give this team a baseline. It can be like, all right, this is where we're at for now. He can certainly go out there and drive a race car. I don't think there's any doubt about that. He's just not a future Cup Series champion or even Cup Series winner because every time he gets the lead, he sits out there and acts like Moses and just parts the sea and lets other people go ahead and win, which is pretty giving of him regardless. I feel like this is an Easter-themed episode just in some of my references today. So, Whatever. But Matt Benedetto's back behind the wheel once again. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Chase Elliott throwback. I know he's not Dale Jr.'s son. You don't have to tell me that in the comments. I'm aware. It's just a joke. Or about Matt Benedetto finally becoming gainfully employed again for at least five weeks, which is certainly better than none. The North Carolina uh, Department of Jobs won't have to worry about his unemployment claim for at least five weeks. So... Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.